Are you facing issues enabling JIT in your favorite apps or games and wish to enable JIT wirelessly? And also, without a computer in your iPhones or iPads? Introducing Stick JIT, a revolutionary app where you can enable JIT with one single tap, which supports iOS 17.4 to the latest iOS version 18.4 RC2 and can even run on airplane mode without any internet anywhere around the world. So sit back as I will cover detailed guide right from setup to enabling JIT and post installation notes. It is highly recommended to use SideStore only for seamless experience. And to sideload SideStore in your iOS devices, go ahead and launch any browser from your computer. And this usage of computer is only required once for one time setup. Now visit SideStore's official website link to which will be in description. On the website, click on Get Started. I will be showing the tutorial for Windows Computer. To get started with SideStore, so on your computer, download AltServer, SideStore's IPA file, Jitterbug Pair, iTunes, and iCloud from these links only. Make sure not to install iCloud and iTunes from Microsoft Store. Once all the files are downloaded, it's time to install and set up iCloud and iTunes. Just navigate to the file manager and just install the iTunes and iCloud like any other program and right after the installation, log in into iTunes and iCloud using your Apple ID. Now, go back to the file manager and just extract the alt installer, zip file, and also the jitterbug, pair file by just right clicking on the file and selecting extract option as shown on the video. Once extracted, just navigate to the extracted folder of alt installer you will find the setup.exe file. Just double-click on the setup.exe file to install it. Once installed, just connect your iOS device to your computer using the device's charging cable. Please note that whenever you connect your device to the computer, a pop-up like this may appear, and if it does, just tap on the trust option. Now back to the video after installing the alt installer. Just search for alt server as shown and open it. There will be no pop-up, rather, on the bottom taskbar, you will find this upward arrow icon, as shown. Just click on it, and you will find this diamond-shaped icon. Now from the keyboard, press the shift key, and while keeping it pressed, left-click on the diamond icon. Then select the option, sideload IPA. As my iPhone is connected to the computer, it shows iPhone. So just click on it. Now just select the side store IPA file, which was downloaded earlier. Now enter your Apple ID and password and finally click on install. SideStore will be sideloaded to your iOS device as shown. Now just launch settings app, navigate to general and then to VPN and device management and just trust the certificate. SideStore is successfully installed and also trusted. Launch SideStore and allow all the permissions and it will also ask for a pairing file. Please note that this pairing file is required in SideStore's setup and also in enabling JIT without computer. So let me show how to extract the pairing file of your iOS device. If you remember, we downloaded this jitterbug pair file from SideStore website. Make sure this jitterbug pair zip file is extracted. Now navigate to the extracted jitterbug pair folder and now make sure your device is connected to the computer using the cable. Now, just double click on the exe file, and if you get something like this, just click on more info, and then click on install anyway. The moment you do that, a pop-up like this will appear on your iOS devices. Just tap on trust and enter your phone's passcode. If no pairing file is generated, try refreshing the page, rerunning the exe file. As you can see the pairing file is generated successfully. Next, just right click on the file and compress it to zip file. And finally send this pairing file to your iOS device by simply emailing it to your iOS device. Once the file is emailed to the device, let's launch the email app, and as you can see, I have received the pairing zip file. Now just download the file and save the same to the downloads. Now just launch the files app and locate the pairing zip file. Just tap on the zip file to extract it. After the process is over, the actual pairing file will be extracted. Next, launch SideStore app, tap on OK option. Just locate the pairing file and just import it by tapping on the same. Once done, just go the SideStore's settings and log in with your Apple ID and password. Once logged in, our SideStore setup is complete. If you get pop-up like this, just tap on refresh later.
So to refresh side store and other apps side loaded via side store, first we will need to install this VPN available in Apple's app store called Stows VPN. Link will be in description. Launch the VPN, follow the on-screen instructions and complete the VPN setup. And once the VPN is connected, just go back to the side store app and tap on refresh all button as shown on the video. The app will start the refreshing process and it's mandatory to refresh side store the very first time after side loading it. Now to enable JIT, we will use this extraordinary app called Stick JIT. And to download Stick JIT, just visit this GitHub page, link to which will be in description. This JIT enabler is supported all the way from iOS 17.4 to the latest iOS version available, which is iOS 18.4 RC2. Now just scroll down and just tap on Releases section. And on the next page, under Assets, you will find the IPA file. Just download the latest version of StickJet IPA file. Once the file is downloaded successfully, make sure to sideload using SideStore only. As mentioned before, to sideload apps, it's mandatory to enable the VPN for the same to work. Now just go back to SideStore and tap on the plus icon. Next just tap on the StickJet IPA file to sideload it. As you can see, the app is sideloaded successfully, and now for the demonstration, I will use the Play app, which requires JIT to run. Now let me show you what happens when I try to run Play Emulator without JIT. As you can see, the moment I tap on the game, it says JIT unavailable, and when I tap on Continue, it exits me from the game. And if I retry, it just crashes the app right away. So let me show how to enable JIT using Stick JIT. First step is to make sure that the Stows VPN is connected and running. Second step is to launch the Settings app, navigate to General, and then to Background app Refresh. And just disable it so that Stick JIT does not stop working after closing the app. Third step is to launch the Stick JIT app, and it will ask for the pairing file. Just tap on Select Pairing File and import the same pairing file, which we extracted earlier, from our device. Once the process is done, just tap on Enable JIT option and select the target app. In my case, it's the Play Emulator app. The Play app will launch, and now when I tap on the game, it will show the same pop-up, which says JIT unavailable, but, go ahead and tap on Continue, and as you can see, the game has started successfully. I am running the game flawlessly. Feel free to always keep the VPN on 24-7 when you are using the stick JIT because it only routes stick JIT traffic through itself, meaning it uses no battery. But wait, the best part of skit JIT is that it runs both on Wi-Fi and also on airplane mode. You heard that right, stick JIT can even operate without any internet as well, so let me show you how you can enable JIT with airplane mode on. First and foremost, just enable the Stows VPN, and only after enabling VPN, you can switch the airplane mode on, thus, cutting off internet connection completely. Just go back to Stick JIT app and tap on Enable JIT. But say, if you get this error, just remove the Stick JIT app from the app drawer and simply reopen the app and tap on Enable JIT, then select the target app, and that's it, run and play your favorite games by enabling JIT even without internet. Now, before I end this video, I want to share some common issues one may face during setup like these. So you can pause the video and check it out yourself. StickJIT supports LiveContainer as well, to learn about it, watch the next video.